Good morning everybody, it has just gone half past 11 and I'm making my way through to the Musgrave area for what sounds like a black mamba up in a tree. Now Musgrave is an area where you certainly don't get naturally occurring black mambas. So the only way the snake could have got there is if it climbed up into somebody's car in another area and that car happened to travel to the Musgrove area and parked off and the snake climbed out. Now I'm assuming that is what has happened. Um, the call has come through to me uh, via um, a snake catching colleague. He was actually sent a picture of a snake's shed skin a good few weeks ago. And uh, he identified the snake as being that of a black mamba. And uh, there's been no sighting of the animal that left its skin until today, many weeks later. So this snake has been dropped off in a very built up area, a very busy built up area. And it's managed to avoid detection for a good few weeks now, which is quite unbelievable. Um, but what has happened now is it's obviously gone up into the trees to either look for food um, in the form of maybe birds or wanting to maybe go look for birds nests or something and uh, someone on the property has spotted the snake so I haven't been sent a picture of the snake or anything like that but we're just going on the fact that a black mamba skin was found on this property a few weeks ago and now a big black snake has made an appearance it must be the same snake so yeah quite an interesting one and uh, I'm not far away uh, I shall see you guys there okay I'm busy going up the road and I can see a guy standing there looking up into the tree so this is obviously the right place here yeah definitely the right place you Take have care. arrived how's it hey how's it my man good and you I'm good <laughs> shut Hey, there's, you? A, there's a big snake. There's a big snake here. We think it's a, a green mamba. Green or black? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's green. Because oh. It's about two meters. Okay. Oh, so it's green in color, not black. Because it's, it was between the, the branches. Yeah. Uh, we were not sure if it was green exactly. Okay. But sure. it, was, it was sitting there. Then it was, it was moving slowly. Now these guys, they say it went up on that side, okay. on that branch. Okay. So now... I can see there's a bird nest. It's just vanished. We don't know where it's... I'm sure the birds will, will tell us. We just need some birds yeah, to fly into the tree. The miner that's sitting there, it's... That's I making it a noise. See it, yeah. It's very high up there. Okay, sure. Quite the illow now. Alright, you can see the situation here. This is a absolutely massive tree. The snake could go anywhere in this whole tree and they have since lost sight of it. They were trying to keep an eye on it, but it's so dense up there. And they're also telling me that it's green, so I was thinking all along that this is a black mamba, but they're telling me it's green. So it's obviously a green mamba, which is even more unusual to be in an area like this. Anyway, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to have to try and get up into that tree and just climb. And maybe when I'm up there, I'll have a better chance of seeing it. Yeah. Here we go, come this side. Yeah. See this branch, big one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. On top up. of that branch, right up. up. Oh, yeah. You can see. Come this side, so. You see in between of that branch, you see that branch? On top of that branch, right up. You can see the green, the, the green thing there. It's a green mamba. Still crawling. You can see it shining hey. up. I still don't see it. I can see. I can no. see it. It's gonna come by the building. Yeah, be careful, man. Side, you can't see. Short side. 
can see. You can see right up there. You see that thing which is shining there. This thing is a scales of something. Where you want? On on the main branch. Yes, yes. On the top. Top, right top. This side. Mark. Okay. I want a space. These guys can see it. I've got eyes for snakes, but I can't see it. <laughs> can't see nothing there. Uh, right up there. There you go. Right up. Can't see. It's moving or something. It's moving. Yeah, harm. Being. Yeah, harm. Is it? Is it? Uh, now it's hard. It's hard to find now, right? But guys, I guess it's time to get the harness on and get some ropes and get up there and see what I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, they got a nice long ladder for me, which helps. Um, um, sure. I think maybe just. On this plan. I think so. Yeah. Hey, what do you think? Is the snake much higher? Is it right at the top? It's very, very, it's very, very high. Because I just want the best place which gets me the the closest to the snake. Okay. Whichever you decide is closer you, because you know where the snake was. Yeah, because it was coming towards this side. Okay. I think it's one to come by the building. Okay. So I'm going to put the ladder there. Okay. If it does, if it does go up onto those branches close to the roof, am I able to get onto the roof of the building? Uh, yeah, there is a, 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 a step where you can be able to climb up. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, apparently the snake seems like it's trying to make its way to the edge of the branches over this side in which case I could access it quite nicely from the roof of the building but uh, I'm going to go up the tree now and see what I can see and here there's a minor bird up in the tree that can obviously see the snake and it's making distress calls So the bird is telling me exactly where it is. It's on that, it's on that side somewhere. Mm. Yeah, but it's fine. You can take me up here. Yeah? You don't think that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Want to make sure that it's in balance. Yeah. Maybe from here I'll be able to see it. Okay, the birds are still quite far on the other side of the tree. Okay, I can hear they making a noise through there somewhere. 
but I still don't see any sign of the snake. But they could be sitting quite far from the snake and making their calls. Doesn't mean they're sitting like a meter away. Okay, let me get up more into this tree and see what I can see. Got some people on the ground there that sound like tourists. And uh, everyone down there can see the snake, which is across here somewhere. But oh, I can't see it yet. And of course I've now climbed up onto the branch that I shouldn't be on. I should be on that branch going up there. And uh, this tree is covered in Bougainvillea thorns. So everywhere I'm climbing, I'm getting poked and scratched and grabbed by these horrible bloody thorns. Hey everyone, this is getting weirder and weirder by the minute. While I was up here looking for the green mamba, they said to me, there's another one, it's a black mamba. And there it is. This is a black mamba. It's crawling around and I'm hoping it's going to come up towards me because I can't really get to it through all the vegetation. So please snake, please come up here to me. Okay, I got myself on the opposite side of the tree guys and I got a mamba that's on the move. He doesn't know that I'm here. And he was on his way directly towards me, which I'm hoping he'll do because this tree is covered in thorns and I can barely move without getting you know, torn to pieces. So the snake is on the move and I'm really, really hoping it's going to come right up to me so that I don't have to go up to it. So I'm just waiting here a little bit anxiously, but also excitedly to see if he's going to come straight towards me. Come on, snake. Got a lot of onlookers on the road that have gathered here, all very excited to see how I'm going to catch this animal. Come on, Snake, you've stopped moving. Have you spotted me or what? <laughs> right, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Mamba has no interest in coming towards me, so I've borrowed a hedge cutter and I'm busy cutting my way through all the hundreds of thousands of millions of thorn branches here in the hopes that I'll be able to get close enough to get my tongs on it. There it sits over there. Where's your head? I'm trying to trying to let you guys see the head. There we go. In the middle of the screen there. Looking straight at me. Wondering what the heck is this oak doing? Is he crazy? <laughs> yes, Mamba, I am crazy. And uh, crazy enough to save you from this neighborhood because you're not going to last long if you don't let me get you. I'm so sorry, guys, that I couldn't actually film the action. I could not climb a tree, hold onto a tree, hold onto a rope, hold onto a grab stick, and catch a Mamba all at the same time. So. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see the, the capture, but I basically just snuck up close enough and managed to grab it with my tongs. So it wasn't all that exciting. But uh, yeah, there you go. We have about a 2.3 meter black mamba, roughly. And now I've got to get this guy into a bag whilst I'm up in the tree <laughs> and then go in search of the green mamba that's apparently still up here fun and games
Okay, black mamba. You now have a new home. It is absolutely awesome out here.